Hello everyone and welcome back to another forecast update. This evening we'll be talking about the potential for severe weather over the next couple of days, but tonight we'll be mainly focusing on the severe weather threat for tomorrow on Tuesday, March the 12th. So first looking at the day two convective outlook, which is for tomorrow on March the 12th, we have a marginal risk that extends from northeast Oklahoma right here and into Missouri and this marginal risk also goes into eastern Kansas as well and then we have a general thunderstorm risk around that and then we also have a general thunderstorm risk in the northwest but with this marginal risk we do have a 5% hail risk for tomorrow and we also have a 5% wind risk for tomorrow as well. Looking at the HRRR for tomorrow, the HRRR actually does not show any storms developing on the 18Z run, but this is because of the cap in the atmosphere that is forecasted for tomorrow. And so this would limit the potential for storms, but if they do break the cap in this atmosphere where that marginal risk was, they will have the sufficient ingredients for severe weather. The 18Z NAM, on the other hand, shows a totally different uh setup and what it shows is actually shows some storms starting to develop into eastern kansas uh tomorrow evening and then into northern missouri right here and once these storms are able to break the cap they pretty much explode showing up on the three kilometer nam and this will have to be something to watch for sure if these storms will be able to get going and then as you can see here they kind of develop into a line from uh, eastern kansas all the way into northern missouri and this will definitely be something to watch for sure just to see if you can get any development with these storms and it'll also be interesting to watch whether the uh the h triple r will pick up on this uh tomorrow also if you're wondering what cap is it's pretty much a layer in the atmosphere with warm stable air and then you have this uh, unstable moist air below it trying to rise up into the atmosphere and when that unstable air can't rise up anymore that limits the storm uh, development and you don't have any major storms that explode but then when that goes through that cap and that unstable air is able to rise up then you have some explosive development that is also showing up on the three kilometer nam right here as you can see these storms look very uh, small and limited to their um, precipitation and rain and then when you have that cap that's broken showing up on the three kilometer nam they explode into very strong to severe storms also looking at our dew points for tomorrow you have plenty of moisture that rises up into oklahoma and then into kansas and missouri and then uh, even though the h triple r does not show the storms developing as you can see here we still have these dew points into the lower 50s into oklahoma and then southeast kansas there and then even into western missouri right here also looking at instability for tomorrow you have a decent amount of instability with uh, over 1000 joules per kilogram of cape showing up into missouri and then even into kansas there every 1000 joules per kilogram showing up there uh, tomorrow evening late tomorrow evening and then even over 1000 joules per kilogram showing up in oklahoma there too so looking at the lapse rates for tomorrow on the 18Z HRRR, we have very high lapse rates into eastern Kansas and then into western Missouri tomorrow evening and then into late tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. Looking at day three's outlook, which would be Wednesday, March the 13th, we have a marginal risk all the way from Texas and then all the way into Iowa and Nebraska there and then also into Kansas, Missouri and Oklahoma as well. There are currently no tornado wind or hail risk up right now because the Storm Prediction Center does not issue those risks until day one or day two. Also for day four which would be Thursday March the 14th we have a 15% risk here from Texas all the way into Louisiana and Arkansas and Oklahoma. And this 15% risk pretty much equals a slight risk at the moment, but this could change uh, in the next couple of days. So as you can see right here, here's our low pressure that will be responsible for that severe weather over the next couple of days. And then as you can see, uh, as that low pressure moves east a little bit, 
you can see that moisture and those storms start to fire up um, in the central U.S. And that'll be our severe weather threat for Wednesday. And then as it moves east, then we can see where that severe weather threat will be on uh, Thursday into the south central United States. And then this low pressure will pretty much move, continue to move east. And then again, we'll have another chance for severe weather, but we're not, the Storm Prediction Center is not really sure where we're at yet. It'll continue to move northeast, and then it'll bring rain to the northeast and then pretty much the entire eastern United States. And then this will continue to move out and also bring snow into Canada as well there. And then even into the far northeast states, and then it'll try to potentially move out and then it will probably be fully out by this Saturday. So that's going to be it for this evening's update. Um, I know it was very short, but I really can't do as, um, as a deep of dive as I could if I had, if we were closer to um, the severe weather threat on Wednesday and Thursday because the HRRR goes out to 48 hours and the NAM goes out to 60, the three kilometer NAM. And it really does not get that reliable once you get so far out with some of those models. But uh, that's going to be it for tonight's update. And I hope you all have a great evening.